welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to do another fall decorate with me. So I told you guys earlier this year in my pre-fall decorating videos that I am not decorating in the traditional fall colors, which are your orange, your red, your yellows, your browns. You know that's not your girl. <laughs> your girl doesn't decorate in those colors. I am a very neutral girl. I love black and white, as you know, and for fall, that's no exception. So we are going to be decorating for fall with black. And I'm calling my fall series, I'm blacking out my home for fall. So if you love home decorating and you love black and white and you are looking for some black and white decorating inspiration for fall, then this is the channel for you. So by the end of the video, if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle My Style family. So you guys, the other day, I took you shopping. It was the first time we've been out of the house in a while. I was so happy. I was like a kid in the candy store, but I restrained myself. I didn't buy anything except one thing, and that was from Hobby Lobby. I went there specifically looking for an item that I wanted to recreate. So you guys know I love to go to different stores looking for inspiration to help me, you know, design my home and to help me style my home for fall. One of the stores I love to look at is Grandin Road. Now Grandin Road can be very, very pricey. And I fell in love with these Chinese lanterns on their site. They were black, so, so pretty. I forget up the price, but I'll leave up the pricing here. And I didn't wanna pay that. I knew I could get the same look for less. You know, I'm all about getting the Lux look for less. So I went on a trip to Hobby Lobby to see if I can find the Chinese lanterns and I did, except they're orange. And I know when I showed you those lanterns in the video, you're probably thinking, Cheryl, girl, that's not your style. What are you gonna do with those? Well, of course, you know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna spray paint them. So that's what we did. And this is how they turned out. Look at this. So, so pretty. Absolutely love these. Now, again, these are very similar to our inspiration piece from Grandin Road, and I'll put up that photo here. This is how ours turned out. We got all four of them. I picked up four, all four of them for less than $20. And the one, the single one from Grandin Road was a whole lot more than that. So I think we did a really good job of getting that high in Lux look for less. So the Grandin Roads, again here, very, very pricey. And I'm sure they're worth it, but no. <laughs> Your girl likes to save a few coins. So I picked mine up from Hobby Lobby, spray painted them black. I wanna say ours, cost all together for four of them including the spray paint which was six dollars the stems let's say they were less than 20 and they were like 17 and change we'll just say 18 and six so less than 25 dollars so 25 dollars for four versus the cost of the one from grand and Rose. so i think we achieved the look and we saved our budget so i'm going to be decorating with these and I also showed you, showed you, <laughs> I also showed you some other florals that I had picked up from, um, what is it, Joanne, and they were purple, but too purple for me. So again, I spritzed them with a little spray paint to give them a darker, moodier look. You know, I'm going for that dark, moody vibe for fall. So I also spray painted these. And then, because again, we wanna save money, I wanted to use things that I also already had. You know, you guys, I'm talking about always use what you have when you can, save even more pennies. So this used to be a very um, jewel tone stem. 
and I just spritzed it black. So just muted the color just a little bit, not too much, but again, I'm going for that moody fall vibe featuring black and the way to get it or the way I do is to use what I have, use a little spray paint and we get a whole new look. So there are those. Now, in today, every time, every time I do a video, the refrigerator wants to fill with ice. Why? Also too, let me show you. Um, I showed you some other stems that I had picked up from Amazon and they were short and I needed a longer stem. So what did I do? Well, you know, your girl's always thinking outside the box. I taped two of them together to give me one long stem, look how long that is. So this is the stem, see that? So again, use what you have. If you have short stems, tape them together to give you a longer stem and it will give you a more luxurious look. So I also have these that I taped together. And again, once the arrangement goes together, you're not going to see the tape at all. So don't worry about that. But these I thought were really pretty. Again, a muted plum colored tone. Perfect for the fall vibe that I'm going for. And I also showed you these. These came from Amazon as well. So I thought we might use those in the kitchen again so to tie everything together because I have these in my powder room I have them here and I have them in my family room now I also like abstract pieces so what did it um two three Christmases ago I think I was shopping on Target and I came across this little I don't know, star anise pod or something. I forget what this is, but I found it. It was from Vickerman, but Amazon, if you didn't, or Target, just like, you know, blah, 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 blah. Target, if you didn't know, is like Amazon where it has different sellers where you can buy, it's for their marketplace where you can buy different things. So I bought this, I wanna say three years ago now, maybe four years ago, and I had it styled in my kitchen. It was part of a vignette that I did a long time ago. And I just love the color. Again, I think this will be perfect for fall. So again, using what we have, I am bringing this out. So we're gonna use it. And to go along with it, because it has some sort of like brown tones, we're gonna be bringing in some gold pieces as well to even warm up this look even more. And what I thought I would share with you guys today is three different fall vignette looks, and then you can help me choose which one you like the best. So that is what we are going to be working on today. So again, if you are looking for some fall decorating inspiration that's not the norm, that's outside the box, then this is the channel for you. And today we're going to be working in the kitchen. So if you want to see what I'm going to come up with, actually not the whole kitchen, just the island, because I have other videos planned around the kitchen. Today we're working in the island, on the island. So if you want to see what I'm going to come up with, make sure you keep watching. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and become a member of the iStyle, My Style family. Now, let's get decorating. All right, in addition to the items that we picked up, those florals, I'm also going to be reusing this vase. This vase I picked up thrifting last year. It was red and I have just painted it black. Again, reuse, repurpose what you have. I probably won't use red again. <laughs> I only used it because I was doing a Grinch theme for my grandbabies. Since Christmas is coming up, if you missed any of those videos, I will leave them linked in the description box down below if you're looking for some Christmas decorating inspiration, something outside the norm. You guys know I love to think outside the box. So last year, I was thinking outside the box. It was Grinch themed. My little grandbabies absolutely loved it. This year, we're going back to a more modern and sophisticated palette. So 
again, check out the Grinch videos. But if you're looking for some more modern and sophisticated ideas, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can get some inspiration for this year. So this is a vase that I picked up from Ross. It was, what is that, $8.49? I can't see, $6.49. Um, <clears throat> but also it was clear, didn't like it, painted it black. This is how it looks. Looks like I need to touch up this little area right here, but we're just gonna turn it around for now so you don't see it. There we go. But anyway, so I spray painted this black. So these two vases are what we're going to use to change up the vignette here in the kitchen. This is the current vignette. This is how it has looked all summer and I loved it but now it's time for a change. Now, you guys know that the living room, I'll give you a little shot over here. The living room is moody, and I'm using the fall moody colors of your dark plums, your burgundies, and black. You know, can't leave out my black and greens. So it's here also on the kitchen table. So we also need it to carry in on the island. So again, I'm going to give you three different looks and then you let me know which one you think works best and which one you like the most. All right. The first thing we're going to do is take everything off of the tray. I love these artichokes for summer and I still want to bring in some sort of green element. That's why I brought out the pod. That's what we're going to call it, the pod. And Oh. our other greenery so here's the pot again absolutely love how this looks first thing we're going to do is wipe down the island and we are going to be using this eight corn spice Myers. stuff smells so so good and since we're getting closer to fall I am sure that you can now find this out at your local Target. I think Walmart may also sell Mrs. Myers but it smells so so good. All right so we have a clean slate and we are going to bring back in our tray because our tray we use to corral all of our stuff. So if we need to clean off the area, we just remove the tray. This tray came from Pottery Barn. And I think it's been painted because you can see the black is coming off, but it's not a true bronze metal. It's been painted to look like bronze, but there's our tray. So for our first look, I thought, <clears throat> you know, I'm bringing in black. So let's try to do a combination of black and green or brown. So I'm going to bring in this vase. Again, this vase came from the Goodwill. Didn't have the price on it anymore. I want to say it was $2.99 or $3.99. But when I am creating a vignette, I like to create high, medium, and low elements in my vignette. So 
We're gonna go with this tall vase. Then we're going to add in our florals. And for this look, I think I want to use our plum stems. So I'm going to bring in these. And remember, can you see that? We just tape these together. And as you can see, as I put them in the vase, sorry for that glare, let's turn you a little bit this way. As you can see, as I put them in the vase, you cannot even see the where we actually tape them together. And I like to give my stems movement by moving them around to create a more natural look. So this is our stems. So now that we have our floral element. I'm going to bring in some warmth and I always like to have a candle. So what I'm going to do now is bring in some warm brass. So I have this candle base came from Target. It was $24.99, but I don't think I paid that. I think it was on clearance because the little glass piece was broken. And you remember our Bath and Body Works candle jars? So I oops, am just going to set these one on top of the other. Again, another way to reuse your Bath and Body Works candle jars. And I'm going to set this in as our next element for our candle. And I feel like I need a third piece. So hold on just a second. Okay, remember, there goes my refrigerator again. Remember these, we got these on clearance from our house. I want to say they were like seven dollars a piece quite large as you can see so again I this one's more bronzy brassy in color but we're going to bring it in for that added warmth and then this is going to be our first look so let's take a closer look So this is how our first look came out. Again, we are incorporating black because we are blacking out my house for fall. So I love this vase. I love the texture in it. And I think it complements everything else very well. I love the black against the brass, against the bronze. So, so nice, so fall, so moody. I love the color of these stems. They are not the most realistic stems, but they are very, very nice. And I love them. I think they look good here. So whenever I am designing vignettes for my trays, I like to have at least three elements. Again, something tall, something medium, and something small. These two are more along the same scale, but this one is slightly a little taller. So this is the look. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this first look. Is it giving moody fall vibes to you guys? It is absolutely giving moody fall vibes to me. All right, so this is our first look. So on to look number two. All right, again, we're gonna take everything away and start with a clean slate. All right, 
for our next look, we're going with a different vase. This one is more modern, more sleek. So again, this is our tall element. And for this one, I think we're going to go with oops, our green stems. Again, keeping a cohesive look throughout my home. So these are the same stems that are used in other areas of my home. Only have two of these left. So hopefully we can make this work. So again, I like to bend the stems to give them a life. And we'll stick this one on this side. And I do like some to stick up and some to stick down. And this is how that is looking. I think I want this one to kind of stick down more. So there's that. Let me show you closer. All right, so this is how these are looking. And if you hear noise in the background, that is my boyfriend doing laundry. So don't mind that, but this is how these stems are looking. So that's our tall element. Now we're gonna come in with our medium sized element. Now I do wanna bring in, like I said, the warmth. So I have these candlesticks that I picked up from Home Goods. Um, one was $7.99, and I'm sure this one was probably $9.99 because it's a little bit taller, but this is how they look, if you can see that. And so I'm going to add these here, one on either side, and I'm gonna add in the candles. But this is just gonna be for appearance sake. We're not going to light these because we don't want to set anything on fire. <laughs> yeah, we want to be safe, but I love the look. So this is just for aesthetic appearances. And then we need another element that we can light. So I'm gonna bring this in. This is like our amber color we used last year. Again, we're using what we have. So I'm going to set that here and that completes our third element. Now, let's take a closer look. This is how our second vignette has turned out. Again, we have the elements of tall, medium, and low. And I absolutely love this look as well. I just love black and green together. It just looks so high-end and so luxe to me. These stems tie in with the other stems around the house, so I am absolutely loving them so right now this is the look that i am loving leave me a comment down below let me know what you think but we still have one more to go so let's show the third look and then we'll see what we think all right i'm gonna take everything away But I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna leave the vase because I love the vase. So we're just gonna change our florals. So we're gonna take away these. I 
And then we're going to add in our plum colored stems. And again, these got a little bit smushed. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. Try to get the glare away. So these got a little bit smushed in the packaging. So we're trying to straighten them out as much as we can. And again, I like to move my stems around, open them up, give them some movement so that they look more realistic. So then we're gonna go in with this stem. And then this one, we have four in total. And you know, I always go north, south, east, and west on my stems, you can see that. And then we have one more and I'm gonna turn it in the opposite direction to make it look fuller. But again, we want to have a natural kind of look and feel to our plants. Then this one the same way. And then this one the same way. that look. And sometimes you just got to fool around with them until you get them where you want them to be. So you have a more natural look. Sometimes I will even intertwine them so that they stay where I want them. So let's take a closer look. All right, so here is how our purple stems are looking. Again, the ones that are very similar to the afloral stems. So this is how it's looking. Might wanna tweak it a little bit more so it's a little fuller, fuller, but this is our tall element. I must say, I do love these florals. I love the moody vibe that they are giving off here in the kitchen. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now let's add our other two elements. All right, now that we have that element, I think what I'm going to do is bring in We need our gold element again. And so I have this bowl. Remember, this is a DIY. We made this out of Dollar Tree bowls. So we can bring it back in and we can bring our pod back in and we can set it in the green bowl. And this is giving me such many guys, these two together. And then we need our candle element. So, we could bring back in this piece with the brass and we could bring in a black, a black, <laughs> a black ribbed candle to give it an even moodier effect. And then this is our third look. So let's take a closer look, shall we?
All right, guys, so here is the third look. I do love the plum and the black together. And I love the pod and the gold brass. I don't know, it's so, so nice. This one is giving me the most moody effect here in the kitchen. Again, we're going for a moody fall vibe. We are not using traditional fall colors. So this is outside the norm. And I know a lot of you may not like it, but for those of you who are like me, who want to see something different for fall, I love this look. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think, but I love it. I'm wondering though, how it would look if we changed out the stems to the green ones, since we have the green pod here and the brass. Let's just throw that in as a bonus to see what we think about it. guys so here's our bonus look what do you think is it too matchy matchy I'm kind of feeling like it's too matchy matchy but then again I kind of like it too so leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of the bonus look again it's still giving a moody fall vibe because we have our green elements that look like they are slightly turning brown. Again, giving us that fall look. So maybe this would be our early fall look. And then once we get into fall, we could switch back to our purple stems. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. So this is how the fourth vignette is looking after we have added in our black Chinese lanterns. So, so love. Again, my fall decorating is not the typical fall decorating that you're going to see on everyone else's channel. My channel is about being unique, being different, thinking outside the box. And guys, <laughs> If this is not thinking outside the box for fall, I don't know what is, but I love it. I am absolutely here for it. Love, love, love. It may not be for everyone. Again, my channel is called I Style My Style because this is my style. I get a lot of viewers saying, why do you use so much black? I use black because I love black. You may not like black. You might like a different color and that's fine. People like what they like. You don't have to leave, you know, negative comments. If you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all. That's what my mom used to say. So that's what I'm telling you guys. You may not like everything that I feature and that's fine. My channel is to give you some inspiration for you to think outside the box, to be different. Don't be the norm. Like be you be unique and style your home the way you want it you live there no one else lives there but you so design it how you like and that's how i design my home and i do primarily black because that's what i like so if you don't like black change the color to something that you do like my channel here is just to give you some inspiration so if your favorite color is something else decorate in that color but again, this is just for inspiration. I love it, I hope you do as well. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of our not so typical fall decorating decor and this vignette. 
I am absolutely in love. And I hope you are as well. Will you recreate this look? Will you go to Hobby Lobby and pick up some of these Chinese lanterns? If you don't paint them black, but paint them a different color and you use them in your fall decorating, I would love to know. Tag me over on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram handle down here in the corner. So yeah, tag me. I would love to see your creations for, for fall. You're thinking outside the box. That's what my inspiration is, guys. You don't have to decorate in the norm. Decorate how you like. And this is how I like to decorate. And a lot of you are enjoying the inspiration. So I hope that's how you like to decorate as well. Think outside the box, not your typical fall decor. Absolutely beautiful to me. And I hope you agree. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video and it has inspired you in your fall decorating. If so, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle My Style family. I have lots of fall decorating inspiration coming up that you do not want to miss. So let's recap when creating a vignette. I believe you need three elements, tall, medium, and small, or high, medium, and low, to create a to create movement. So when you look at the vignette, your eye starts here, travels here, and then travels here. So high, medium, and low, and I also think you need a candle and some type of organic element, like this pod, or your florals or your stems and some metal like this brush brass but i think it looks so so good so leave me a comment down below let me know which vignette you like the best is it vignette number one vignette number two vignette number three or our bonus vignette leave me a comment down below let me know which was your favorite and let me know if you are going to recreate any of these looks I will leave the links for the florals down below they came from Amazon um, yeah all three of them came from Amazon so I will leave them linked below so if you want to recreate the look you can the vases you can thrift them you can go to Ross like this one came from Ross on Clarence I think it was $8.49 this I will try to leave linked as well in case you're interested again it came from Target it's from Vickerman we all have these Bath and Body Works candle holders so I'm sure you can have those and I'm sure you could probably thrift a candle base that is metal in color usually brass or gold for fall so leave me a comment down below let me know what you think Let's take one last look and I hope to see you in the next one.